so for today's video i'm going to be showing you how you can customize some golf balls for for fun or for whatever occasion i'm doing um some for my dad's retirement party but yeah you can really just put any kind of logo or funny saying or your friend's face on your ball i'm using water slide paper and I tried using like some other things like those inkjet um, transfer vinyls do not work on golf balls. I tried. I've seen some videos where they use HTV and that works. And yeah, I think that works too. But I didn't want to like weed all this out and then try to put it on here without melting it. I think if you have a simple design, that'll totally do. Um, but yeah, not for this type of thing. So I'm using this inkjet water slide decal paper and I just bought this off of Amazon. It's the Sunny Scopa brand and it had a lot of good reviews and I really like this one. Sorry, it's kind of ripped over here because I put it on the sticky part, but it has like really great instructions, which I appreciate. Sometimes you buy things on Amazon and it could come with like no instructions, right? So yeah, it has all the things that you need very clear instructions. I really like it. And I also look for one that you don't have to bake in the oven. I've seen some other ones where you put on coffee mugs and wine glasses and that kind of stuff. And that's totally fine to put those in the oven to set the vinyl. But yeah, I didn't want to do that because of the golf balls. So yeah, I'll show you how we made some. This is one from Crooked Design Space. I made my own and I also have my family's faces on it. But yeah, it's super funny. I think it feels nice. And these are just practice ones. So I kind of messed up on some and whatever, but yeah. Overall, they look really good. And so I'm gonna show you how I did these. So we're gonna use Cricut Design Space just because I needed to um, do a transparent background around like the face and I'll show you how you can do that. Ideally, you could use Microsoft Word or any kind of like word processing like pages or something um, and just cut it out yourself because I'm also just going to cut it out myself even though I'm going to use Cricut Design Space and that would save you a lot of paper. If you had a lot, using Microsoft Word or pages would then save you a lot of space because you wouldn't have that black box and you could set your own margins but yeah I don't have like Photoshop or anything to do the transparent background and I created the this one in design space so that's why I'm using that and I'll show you later how I do it oh yeah so you also need some kind of sealant so I found this at my local hardware store and it's just I don't even know if it's acrylic I think it is but yeah, you just do three coats of this and you need some golf balls. So Amazon has plain golf balls and they're cheap. I think it was like $13 for a box of 12, but then to ship it to Hawaii, it was like $10. So say you're spending $25 on generic plain white golf balls. Like, I don't know, that doesn't seem worth it when you can get a pack of title lists for, I bought this at Roger Dunn yesterday for like 27 or 28 dollars and i looked i was there yesterday in the store and i looked at all the balls they had and the title list i think had the best or the most white space yeah i was looking at all of them i even tried to take them off the box see which one didn't have like the little line but pretty much all of them do so i was looking for a white ball you do need white if you have white in your design and you're using clear water slide paper because it doesn't your printer doesn't print white so anything white it'll just leave blank so if you have white in your design you do need a white ball uh, if you don't you can use any kind of color but yeah this one had the simplest wording and the most white space so i'll take you to cricut design space and show you how i made my design so this is the design I'm going to do for my dad's retirement party and I'll show you how I made this image. I'm just going to go 
to images and type in golf. And there's a lot of different ones you can use. I just chose the guy swinging his golf club. So I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. And then we're gonna add the text to go around. And I'm using multiple text boxes just so that I can have an easier time moving them around and placing it where I want it to go. So I'm just gonna make this black and make it a little bit smaller and try to get a, kind of the right proportions. So I'm just going to copy and paste it and type in the words. So if you'll notice, the full swing is not centered. So we need to center that and the line spacing is just too wide. So I'm going to just kind of make it smaller. You can choose how much spacing you want. So negative 10. I think works for me and now we're just going to play around with the sizes and just try to get it how you like it and just keep in mind that it's going to go on a round ball so you know something round ish would be good Okay, so that looks good, but let's see what it will look like on the ball. So I'm just going to make a template and change this to 1.5 and white. So now we're just going to select all and attach. And at this point, you can decide if you're going to cut out by hand or use your Cricut to cut out. I'll show you what you do if you're going to use your Cricut. You're going to have to do an offset. And you want one without like the hole in the middle. So I'm just going to make it a little bit wider until that hole um, fills up. And then sometimes it's better to just move the word over. I'm just trying to make that little space smaller so we don't have to go so wide with the offset. Okay, so now we can change the offset to white and select both of them and then flatten. And that way it's like a whole, just one print and cut image cutting around that nice white offset. And I found that for me, the maximum um, image would be one and a quarter inches, either width or height. And that fits nicely on the golf ball. I wouldn't go past that. Okay, so now we're gonna do my face. Just to be fair, I will use my face as an example. So I'm uploading my photo and hitting complex and I made sure to try to take my photo or selfie with a light background so that the background remover would have an easier time okay so did a pretty good job around the head which is pretty hard so now I'm just gonna clean it up and I want to do like a circle so I'm gonna use the eraser tool for this so I'm just gonna take this little top pointy part off it'll be easier to put on the ball if it's a kind of a nice circle so this is my first time doing myself or not a guy where you know there's not like long hair so i'm not sure how i'm gonna do it yet if i'm just gonna take away the body like the shoulders or like cut across my hair So yeah, for the right effect, I think I'm going to have to cut my hair off <laughs> and try to round out the sides. Okay, I think I would look totally better if I left the hair a little bit longer, but it's okay. We'll work with this. So I'm just going to save this as a print and cut image and then upload it to canvas. Okay, so that's super huge. I'm just going to lock the proportions and I'm going to change it to one inch. So if you can tell, that's not one inch. Like my face is not one inch, even though I put it one as one inch because I made a little mistake and I left a tiny spot of the image on the bottom left side. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's a tiny, tiny little piece and I'll show you how I fix this um, mistake. 
So I'm going to use the golf ball template to slice out anything else around the image. And you can actually use this if you don't want to like intricately go around someone's head. You could just take a circle um, slice out of your photo. So just put the golf ball template around the, the image that you want to keep. And then you're just going to select both and then slice. So now you can delete all the pieces that you don't need and just keep. So that was a little piece and then just keep your image as a circle. There. So now when I resize it to one inch, it was a lot bigger and super easy to just recreate that golf ball template 1.5 inches and I'm going to bring, send that to the back. Okay. So that's a little bit big for the face and let's try a quarter or three quarters of an inch. Okay, I think that's better. So now we're ready to print. So I'm just going to go ahead and hide everything that we don't need and then hit make it. So at this point, I noticed when I did this before, the if you look at the wording, some of the letters are missing. There's like a Y and a W missing. I had to look this up online to figure out how to fix this. So I'll show you how. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is unattach everything if we haven't already. And I actually don't want to use the offset because I'm going to cut it out by hand. So let's unattach everything. And then what it said to do online was to change the words to have a point to letter space. I guess this just gives the font a little bit more space so that it doesn't skip those letters. So I'm just going to do that, then reattach it, and let's see if it worked. Okay, so the Y is still missing. So let's make that spacing a little bit wider. So same thing, just detaching and then changing the line space, or the letter space, sorry. 0.4, and then reattaching it again, and then let's see if it worked. Okay, yay, it looks like it finally worked. I want to space these out a little bit more just because I'm going to be cutting it out by hand. And now we can print. So when we print, um, I take off the bleed because we don't need any extra coloring or anything on the outside. And I use system dialog. And then for my printer, I just do glossy specialty paper and print on best. Okay, so I have my printout and I just cut off the rest of the paper so I could use it for another project. Um, I think after you spray the acry acrylic spray, you can't print on it. I'm guessing, right? So this is just the Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Matte Clear Sealant. And for water slide decals, you do need to put two coats at least of some kind of sealant. So I just have painter's tape and I'm going to stick it to this piece of cardboard, mostly just because I don't want it to fly away while drying. So what I'm going to do is one nice thin coat, but make sure you cover the whole thing. Let it dry for half an hour and then do another coat. And this is to protect the inkjet coloring or, you know, the print when you put it in water. If you don't do this step, then I think the, the colors would run. Even though the water slide decal is waterproof, the ink is not. So we just need to do this to protect it. So I'm just gonna do one nice coat. Then I'm gonna let this dry half an hour, come back and do another one. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do after. Okay, so actually I did three coats of the rustoleum sealer and it's all dry it's probably like an hour no, maybe like four hours after i sprayed the last coat and so now i'm just gonna cut out the decals i'm just gonna do it by hand because last time i used the cricut the print and cut feature it 
was a little off, especially on the face part. So I rather not have like an accident like that, especially if I'm gonna do a lot. And then this is simple enough, you know, just to go around. It doesn't have to be like super close since it is clear, but you also don't wanna be like, I guess, manipulating a whole bunch of extra plastic. So I'm just going close. I'm gonna get my ball. And these are brand new. Um, I would normally just wash it with soap and water. I shall do that. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, so I just went to the sink. I washed it with soap and water. Um, I mean, it still can be wet. So, see, I'm gonna put, I guess, my face right. Okay, so this is the third time I'm trying this. Um, my phone keeps shutting off. So this is the first ball I did about four hours ago. I did my face and this one turned out really good. I think because it's small. So small images, super easy, no problem. This one, it's okay. It has two wrinkles right here and right here, but that's fine um, for my purposes. I'm gonna try something different. So I did the second ball and I had the same thing. So it's just, you know, how it is. So this one, I actually put it in already, but this one I am gonna try and see if these cut marks or cutting it in closer will make a difference. So this one is ready to go. I already washed this ball. It's in um, with soap and water and it's still wet and you want it to be wet when you put it in. And then you get your decal you put it in lukewarm water for 30 seconds. This one is ready to go. But yeah, I'll just get it wet one more time. And then we're just gonna slide it off. And I am aligning the retirement word with this arrow. So yeah, it just slides off super easily. And then the way that you put it down, because it's positionable as long as it's wet underneath, I'm pressing down from the center out on the words because I want the words really to um, be nice and flat. And you know, I think this method is working better. So once you kind of have it the way you want it, then you can go ahead and um, push the water out with the paper towel. So the one thing is the name is kind of like I kind of I want it to be straight but it wants to go this way because I cut that in line. So if his arm is a little bit weird that's fine. Okay. So now I'm pushing all the water out using my finger and trying to get into all the little divots probably get like a q-tip too that might and the water slide is thin but it's not like super fragile because you already also sprayed it with the sealant so unless you're rubbing super hard you shouldn't disturb the ink or the printout okay yeah that was that worked way better if you can see there's no wrinkle, it's super flat. I think just right here on his arm, but that's not that noticeable actually. That's an okay place. But yeah, I think that looks way better. I don't know, can you tell? It's so hard to see because it really is really transparent once it's on there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this method for the next few that I'm going to do and yeah so hopefully you like this project um, I guess if you're planning to play with them I would spray the ball with the sealant afterward just to help it stay on but if it's just for like show 
or display, this is totally fine. So just let your ball sit and dry naturally for about three to four hours and then you're good to go. Um, yeah, so hopefully you like this project and you try it out. And if you like this content, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. From this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms Dancing to the limbo Stalking in the mid